please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Since we do not have a quorum right now, we'll go right to Tom's announcements. Thank you very much. Uh, I did hear from uh, several of the board members that are out of town on business, and uh, one is on his way who was tied up at a business meeting, so he should be here very shortly. Okay. Um, for our announcements, our next Board of Commissioners meeting is scheduled for Monday, July 20th. Our next Parks and Recreation Board meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, July 8th, and that is Wednesday, July 8th, and that's at the Willows Mansion. Uh, the Commissioner's meeting on July 20th is at 7 p.m. The Parks and Recreation Board meeting is at 7.30 p.m. that evening at the Willows Mansion. I also am happy to announce the uh, Radnor Activity Center at Sulpizio Gym Ribbon Cutting is scheduled for Saturday, June 27th at 10 a.m. We're very excited. We're going to have a brief ribbon cutting ceremony and uh, just ecstatic about uh, opening up that facility and that entire complex. If uh, anyone hasn't been over that way, all of the side uh, is about 98% complete. So it is green outside and looks beautiful and uh, the fencing's done and we're just real excited about the whole, whole area. So hopefully uh, folks can come out and join us that morning. And that concludes my announcements. Any questions on Tom's announcements? Go right to the activities report, Tom. Activities report, thank you. Our, we are in the process of, uh, we finalized summer operations uh, with the school district, having meetings at the different sites to uh, verify where programs are taking place. Um, to, we have summer staff coming in tomorrow and Friday at the Willows Mansion uh, for training. It'll include uh, emergency procedures, informational session on first aid CPR, policy reviews, uh, security, police, uh, site visit inspections, and some team building work so that we can all be on the same page when we get started on Monday the 22nd. Uh, we have started some of our camps this week. Uh, we are excited to start our big camp, uh, the summer of Radnor Day Camp at Radnor High School next Monday. We also start the Tot Lot program, which will take place at Ithan and Radnor Elementary. And then we have our play, playground programs as well, uh, which are at Clemacrone, Odoricio, South Devon, and Cowan Parks. Our brochure still uh, has activities out there that are available for folks who are interested in registering for summer programs. So please uh, come into our office and uh, register and look online for uh, information if you're looking for information on our programs. We do have a limited number of uh, discount coupons uh, to amusement parks while supplies last at the town, at the, our park and recreation office for anyone who's interested. Uh, for folks who are excited on uh, getting down to see the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Florida Marlins, uh, it's a great, great excursion that we're going to have on Friday, August 7th. Friday, August 7th. We hope folks will come out and join us. He went upstairs. He went upstairs. We look forward to uh, folks coming out and uh, joining us on uh, the 7th. So if anyone's interested, we do have tickets available for that trip. So uh, we do need them to get in and sign up soon. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to return the tickets if we don't have enough sold. So if anyone's interested in the Phillies Marlins, Friday, August 7th, please come in to the department soon. We also have the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament, Friday, September 4th. That's in Flushing Meadows, New York. It's a uh, wonderful trip if you've never been there. Highly recommend folks coming out. Our Maritime Heritage Festival, which is in Annapolis, uh, on May 2nd was canceled due to a lack of registrations. We are currently taking registrations for our Fenimore Woods Picnic Shelter and our other park areas for picnics in the 2009 season. Our annual Youth Trout Derby, which was at Sawmill Park, was held on May 1st and 2nd, and despite some inclement weather, the, the uh, young anglers out there had a great time fishing and uh, winning prizes. My thanks to John DeMeo and the Chester Valley Sportsman's Association for their efforts 
with this event. Our sixth annual summer program kickoff registration day was held on May 4th. It was a tremendous success uh, for residents to come out and learn about summer program opportunities and register uh, to participate in those activities. We took in over $100,000 in registrations in that one day, uh, which is uh, pretty shattering as far as uh, that goes for our department. The uh, P Park and Rec EAC Park Cleanup on May 15th we went very well. We had students out from the Radnor Middle School Watershed Program addressing environmental areas in the past. Uh, my thanks to them, John Savage, Benny Ackerman, uh, for all their support that day with the cleanup. Radnor Conservancy and, and CSA Friends of the Willows Cottage Hoedown fundraiser, which was at the Willows Cottage on Sunday, May 17th, was a great success. They had over 500 people registered that day. Uh, they raised a tremendous amount of money for the cause. Attendees enjoyed music, hay rides, food, drink, tours, a mechanical bull ride, and an auction. Uh, my thanks to all the many volunteers who contributed to make that event a success, and uh, my congratulations to uh, the CSA and the Friends of Willows Cottage Group and the Conservancy, because uh, it was just a lot of effort, and uh, they did a great job with it. I announced earlier we're looking forward to having our uh, ribbon-cutting ceremony on June 27th at 10 a.m., so we're very excited about that for the Radnor Activity Center. The Friends of Radnor Park ribbon cutting on May 30th went very well. It was uh, attended uh, by approximately 25 people. My thanks to Mary Coe, State Representative Bill Adolph, Commissioner Tom Masterson, and the members of the community and the Friends of Radnor Trail who came out and supported us. It was an absolutely beautiful uh, Saturday morning for the event. And one of the neat things I thought about the event um, was while it was taking place, there was just people up and down the trail on bikes, strollers, little kids, adults, people, little kids learning how to ride bikes, um, rollerbladers, runners going by, and then right in front of us, a person pulled up and got someone out in a wheelchair to wheel them up the accessible ramp to the trail. And I thought I couldn't have staged it more appropriately with the thought of just the multi-use and multi-access of ability of, of recreation with the trail. So my thanks to all them for their efforts and uh, just a wonderful morning uh, for the community. Uh, Bolt Heldring's Eagle Scout project is due to take place uh, in late June, early July uh, for the Levin Tract. Uh, steps over up to the Radnor Trail from South Devon Avenue. The Odoricio Steps was approved by the Board of Commissioners the other evening, uh, this past Monday, the 15th, and we are looking to get the specs out to have those steps repaired. Great. So I will update you as we receive bid, uh, bids. I am in the process of working on the Cowan Park grant project. We just had a resolution the other evening um, at the Board of Commissioners meeting, which was passed. It's all part of the packet that needs to go in in order to submit the application. And then we hear back from the state on whether or not it's an acceptable project and that, yes, it's something that they'll do. And then we sit there and walk through the steps of the project and we'll have meetings and drawings and all that, just like we've done with all our other development projects. But that'll be later in the year. Laura Kassarian and the Girl Scouts uh, performed a cleanup of West Wayne Preserve Park on Saturday, June 6th. The Radnor Middle School Watershed class also performed an environmental cleanup at Skunk Hollow Park on Saturday, May 30th. Uh, our department thanks to Rick Yulo, Sarah Pilling, Commissioner John Fisher and the other community volunteers for their great efforts in painting and fixing up uh, the Clemacrone Park Comfort Station. Uh, Friends of Radnor Trails and Bob Thomas are going to tentatively go to the Board of Commissioners on July 20th to address the commissioners with a concept of extending the Radnor Trail to Ethan Village. Uh, this is part of the concept uh, study um, 
or letter study that was done by Bob Thomas last fall. There were some members of this group that were on that committee. Uh, you have a copy of his letter report, and um, the township submitted a federal grant to attempt to get some stimulus money in order to extend the trail. Uh, the concept that will include a proposal from Bob Thomas to perform some study in engineering to make the project possible. All of that money would be included in stimulus money. It's just a matter of keeping the carts aligned uh, and properly budgeting for such. Uh, finally, our thanks to Kate Hoover of Wayne for donating a CD player and a color printer for the Radnor Activity Center and the Parks and Recreation Department, which we'll look forward to using for programming in the future. And I'm happy to answer any questions as is needed. Tom, is it possible um, that the stimulus grant that we're going to be seeking will be enough to cover the uh, cost of the extension of the trail? You, it was a 80-20 match is the way the grant worked. And, uh, you know, the intention with the submission was for it to include based on the projections that you'll read in the letter report, um, a culvert and then uh, a culvert which would go underneath Radnor Chester Road, right. extend up to Martha Brown's Woods, and then with the ultimate goal of connecting down to Ithan Village. Um, the intent was to have that money cover it for the 80% and then the township would have to provide a 20% match. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions for Tom? Um, I take it that it was your activities report, Tom. <laughs> Apologize to everybody for being late. Uh, Shade Tree Commission, any report? Is that you, Jimmy? I believe Mike Glynn had attended and he had sent me an email, I think he had copied you, Tom, that said there was no business on the agenda related to park and recreation. Any report from the school board? Any other committee reports? EAC? Any old business? Any new business? If I could just make a quick comment, um, including our packet of materials here this evening is a brochure about the Garrett Hill Fourth of July Parade. And I just wanted to encourage anybody watching, uh, last year was my first year to enjoy this parade and it was a, a, a great time uh, for all families involved. And so I would encourage people to not only attend, but also um, uh, I know it's a tough time uh, for everybody with the economy and everything, but if you're able to make any donations to keep the parade going um, and, and help it uh, uh, operate this year, I know they'd be greatly appreciated. So I just encourage anybody watching to uh, donate and also attend. Andy, could you give the uh, event schedule and the website for that? Uh, certainly. The, um, the event schedule is uh, 10 a.m. to 10.30 is the registration for bikes and floats. At 10.30 a.m., the judging begins, and this is all at the Rosemont Business ca uh, uh, Campus. The uh, opening ceremonies will be at Clem McCrone Park at 10.45. And then um, the Bryn Mawr Rotary Club races are immediately following the parade. And then from uh, 12 noon on, there's sort of a food fair and a band concert and magic show at uh, Clem McCrone Park. Um, and uh, any information um, on the parade can be received at uh, www.garretthillpa.com. Great. Any other comments? Do, do we need to approve the minutes from last yeah. meeting or yeah, something? Kind of, oh, we have not done that yet? We haven't done that yet. We'll have to check. Yeah, we'll do, do you mind doing the fireworks check? The, uh, the only other thing that, uh, just to kind of segue to the Garrett Hill event, is our annual fireworks right at the high school, and it's something everyone has in their packet. we just like to remember, remind everyone of that uh, annual gala event um, with a rain date of July 5th. So, um, I um, don't want you to miss that, and I'm sure um, complete information is on the website, but that's uh, uh, July 4th, Saturday at um, Radnor High School, our annual fireworks display. Don't miss it. Best in the area. Uh, uh, move to approve the minutes of our June meeting. So moved. Second. 
Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One other. Uh, if anyone is available to be a representative at the Shade Tree Commission meeting on June 24th, I believe that is next Wednesday evening, okay. June 24th at 7.30 p.m., can you please email me if you uh, are available? I think Thank Fenton mentioned Fenton. he wanted to do it, but we'll confirm with him. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Move we adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So adjourned.